Welcome to Unit 1 of Real Shanghai Mathematics Practice Book 3.2. So this is the second book and the last book of Year 3, as they consist of two books in each year. Um, the first topic unit is called Revising and Improving, and it consists of four sections. The first section is called Brief Revision. Question one, calculation. So these are things that should be familiar with you already. So 140 divided by seven, that's the same as 14 divided by seven, which is two, and the zero carries on below. Um, so that's gonna be 20. Um, any other one, three times 900, we can do, let's do the other one, 700 take away 700 divided by seven. Again, division comes before takeaway. So we do 700 divided by seven first, which is 100 and 700 take away 100, which equals 600 and so on and so forth. Question two, again, column method 725 divided by six, for example. Again, you can use a column method to do that, or you can, uh, sorry, bus stop method for to do that, uh, where you, how many six is going to seven, one, so one at the top, and then one carries over, that's 12. So 76 goes into 12, that's two. And then we've got um, five remainder. Uh, that's at the top again, sorry, for the five, how many six is going to the last five, you put zero, and then the remainder is five. Um, Question three, again, should be fairly straightforward. When you have division and times in the same brackets, then you can just do it in the order that you find it in. So for the last one, 837 divided by nine, do that first. And then whatever the answer is, then times that by eight. Moving on to question four, true or false, put a tick true across false from the brackets. Um, so you just need to work out if those are true. Again, 106, take away 106 divided by two, then the answer is wrong because we first have to do 162, 106 divided by two which is 53 and then 106 take away 53 and so on and so forth and then b um, look at the steps in this calculation and then you do something similar for the next one as well mm, so okay so 13 plus 7 times 7 plus 30, 39 so another way of doing that is 13 times 7 plus 39 is the same as 13 times 3 uh, if you're not sure, you can write 13 and then 26 and then 39, and you'll see that that is the case in terms of working it out. So you can do 13 plus 13 plus 13, so you can know it's 3. So 13 times 7 plus 13, th 13 times 3, that's going to be the same as 13 times 10. Why? Because 7 plus 3 is 10. So that'll be 130. And then similar for 13 times 8 plus 26, and remember that 26 is 13 times 2, and so on and so forth. Then moving on to the fourth arithmetic operation with brackets so this is something we haven't talked about before and let's spend a little bit of time on this um, we have talked briefly but not in detail so so far i have mentioned it before we will talk about it again now bid mass is the order that we do things in okay so bid mass or sometimes called bad mass doesn't make much difference so that's something just you need to remember and from this, we have spent a bit of time uh, in terms of bid mass, in terms of this bit here and this bit here. So this is addition and subtraction, and this is division and multiplication. So as you said, division and multiplication are done first, and then after that, you can do addition and subtraction, and these are the same level. Division and multiplication, if they're just occurring, the same level, so do those in order. And then addition and subtraction also at the same level. So the first one we're concentrating on. The first one from all of these is brackets. Okay, so these are brackets. It's called bracket. Um, okay, I'm not going to attempt to write that. Okay, so, so that's brackets. So bid mass, the B stands for brackets. So the that's the very first one that we do. And so brackets will do be done first. So an example of that is in question one. The first question, 377 take away 79 plus 219. We do it in order. However... The other one, if you see, we got brackets 1255 5 plus 795, close brackets divided by 5. Now, we've said that division you do before adding, if you remember. However, brackets is the very first one. So, brackets are always done first. So, in this case, we'll do 1255 5 plus 795. Work that out. Then that's the answer. Then you divide that by 5. And the same with 92, 4 divided by 3, divided by in brackets 3 times 2. The brackets is done first. We'll do 3 times 2 first with 6. Then 924 divided by 6 and so on and so forth. And question two, if you change the order of the operations, uh, so you can do the addition first and then the division. The number centers will change to what? Okay, so the only way to get to get addition to be done first is by putting it in brackets. So the 15 plus 280 will have to be in brackets. 
then divide it by five. Otherwise, we'll always do division first, okay? Um, and then the answer will be changed too, so you should be able to work that out. Uh, question three, mom took 200 pound and bought Alexis two coats, same cost to uh, 35. If an exercise book costs five pound, how many exercise books can mom buy with the money that is left over? So it's step by step. So you do 200 pound, take away 135, and then whatever the answer is, so you could put that in brackets and then divide that by five, okay? What you could do step by step, uh, the main thing is getting the answer right. And B, add brackets to each number so it makes it correct. So we get zero, uh, sorry, you got question one, you got 20. So how do we get 20? Well, let's try 28 plus 72, put that in brackets, that'll be 100 divided by five is 20 and so on and so forth. Um, and you need to sort of work them out like that. Um, question two will be a little bit tricky if you're stuck with level b don't worry too much about it as i say it is a bit more trickier um so there's two times four plus four we could do it could be eight plus four twelve uh, so there's different ways of doing it depends how uh, how have they done it probably the first one would have to be because you don't want it to be too big would probably have to be six times twelve take away ten which is two so that would be twelve and the other way to get twelve on the other side is two times four in brackets uh, plus four okay uh, and try three yourself again a little bit trickier you might have to just play around with it a little bit um, just have a think about it in terms of how big the answers will be uh, for the example question three i would probably try and put two and four times four together first because uh, you don't want the answer to be too big and if you don't do it that order the answer will be too big and you can't get the other one 80 take away 53 plus 19 to be that big um, and then moving on to estimate area, and this is the just could put in a small bracket one. So question one, estimate the area of these two dimensional shapes. Areas one, include whole squares and other uh, squares that are half or more inside the shape. You don't need to include squares that are less than half inside the shape. Okay, so this is about estimation. So we only do the whole ones. And then as it says, Half the shape include the whole shapes, uh, half or more. So if the half you include that as as, as a whole, uh, and bigger than that, um, uh, because they will just compensate each other. Uh, so anything greater than a half, um, put as one or half as one, and those with less to ignore, and that'll give you a good estimation. And B, there are how many whole squares? So again, count the squares. You might be either just to make them a twist rectangle shape if you want to do it that way uh, just make sure you do count them and you can put them as a tick if you've counted them or put them into a shape that's been done already and then moving on to page six question two write the correct units in the brackets so estimated of a classroom four is is about how much okay so 48 what so area um how do you think centimeters kilometers meters Okay, and if you're not sure, get hold of a meter stick and see that we've got to be meters really. So meter squared, estimate the area of a fingernail is going to be tiny. So probably this is centimeters squared against squared, the two at the top. The length of a running track is going to be about 300, going to be what? 300 meters most likely. So that's how long it's going to be. Kilometers are too big. And here, because the length is non area, we don't have to put a squared next to it. Okay, so just be 300 and we just put an M. Or meter level b look at the two pictures below answer the question the area of the shade is is how much and the area of the shade how much okay so just have to work out the areas again you see the triangles out there put the triangles into the other shapes other shapes to make a whole square and that should help you so do the whole squares first and then put the triangles in there um and also the other triangles to have try and have a think about with the like the bottom triangle right at the bottom for a would be a hole and so on and so forth for B as well. And then the fourth part, again, as I say, level Bs are slightly higher. If there's anything that you really want to do uh, and you think is useful, then we'll do it. But if it's, just, if it's too much, then don't worry too much. Although I think these level B are fairly reasonable questions. And then the last section is area of compound shapes. So by compound shape, all they mean is more than one shape together. So you can see with the, the, the shapes, like the bottom one here, and uh, this one here, it consists, it consists of essentially three triangles, uh, sorry, three rectangles together. Okay, fill in the brackets area of compound shapes. Um, so how we do this. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky. I don't think we've done this before, so let's spend a bit of time on doing this. So 
something that you need to familiarize with and again probably need to come to this again and again is the following concept again i'll explain it to you so you can see why we go along this way so we've got a square okay imagine that this is a square and each of these is one meter okay one meter and it's a square so because it's a square the area is going to have to be one meter squared okay so that should be straightforward because area is length by width one meter by one meter now if we're gonna this is important because we, if we want to change the units to a centimeter look what happens here and it's because of the squared bit here one meter this one now it becomes 100 centimeter. Our area now will be 100 times another 100. That's how we do area. So area of this times by the area of this. Now this is also 1 meter, which is 100. So it's going to be times by 100. Can you see? So what actually happened is the 100 is being times by 100, which is also, I don't think we've done this bit, okay, and if you don't remember this bit, don't worry too much about it. But it's the same as 100. To get from meter to there, you're actually doing is times it by 100. Squared, because we're doing it twice, which means we're doing 100 times 100. So the same answer, I mean, times by 100, I think if you remember, remember adding times by 10, adding one zero, two zeros. So that's going to be the same 100, one meter squared is actually therefore going to be the same as how many zeros are here, which is 10,000. Centimeter squared. Okay, the squared. Okay, so that's what happens with the area because you got the two there, two there, this is now 100 times 100. So it's not the same as one meter equals 100 centimeters. Yes, that is true. That's for a length, but when it's area, because it's times the gain, and the same will apply. So if you do the first question, fill in the brackets, two meters squared, this is now two. This is 200. So it's 200 times 200. Okay, so it's 200 times, uh, sorry, not 200 times 200. Um, if, if you were going to get, um, ignore the last bit. Um, so let's say this was a rectangle. This is to get two set of two meters will be one meter times by two meter. And if you're going to convert that to centimeter, that'll be hundred times two hundred. Okay, which will be two. And again, now it's four zeros added on. So it'll be twenty twenty centimeters, uh, twenty thousand centimeter cubed. Okay, so converting from a meter to a centimeter cubed is by timesing by ten thousand. This meter to meter squared to centimeter cube is by timesing by 100 and then times it by 100 again. There you go. Okay, uh, and that's what happens there. So we may have to come back to this or we may not, but there you can see. So question one, two meters squared is the same going to be as two times 100 times 100. So that's going to be 20,000 like we've done before. And the opposite is also then true. So when we go from um, from 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 this to that, which is the other way around. We're going to divide it by 100 and then divide it by 100 again because it's squared. So this is the same as that. So in this case, 600 centimeter squared is going to be... Okay, introducing something else again, which I'm not sure if we've covered before or not, uh, but still worth doing it. So we uh, do 600. Divide by 100 and then divide it by 100 again. So it's the same as dividing by 10,000. Okay, and if you remember how to do these, uh, I'm not sure if I've done this. Okay, uh, let's spend a little bit of time. So when, when we times by zero, we're sort of adding zeros, if you remember, adding zeros. And when we divide it by zeros, we're getting rid of zeros. Okay, that's what happens. But what if there's no zeros left? So let's say six divided by 10. What happens there? 
Well, if you remember, 6 is actually the same as 6.00. These zeros can go on forever, okay? So that's what 6 means. And when you times it by 10, what happens is this decimal place moves there. Now, I know technically some math teachers will tell you that's not what happens. Everything else moves, and that's true. But at the end of the day, we're just doing practicality to make things work. So this is the way to learn it. 6 times 10 means this decimal place moves there, and that's why it becomes 60.00. But we don't say 0.00 because you could say that forever. We could say 60.00000 forever. It makes no sense. We just say 60. Um, and the same way, so we move that. And when you divide it by 10, again, we're moving back. So we move back. So divided by 10 would be moving the decimal place here. And then the, before that, a decimal place, if there's nothing there, we put a zero there. And we can just keep going back. So in this case, 600 divided by 1,000, 10,000 will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We're moving back, okay? Because a 4, this is 10 to the power of, this is 10 times, this is the same as 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we move from here because again 600 is same as 600.0 so the point is always at the end of what you've said so i'm going to go one two three four so it dots here okay the dot is there and then we can add the zero here because we've got to fill these numbers with something and zero there so that's the same as zero point zero six so this one's important because it does it starts with the one so we know there's no ones this is important because they tell you based upon that we know where the ones are we know where the tenths are so these are the tenths uh sorry uh how do you describe them yeah tenths and these are the hundredths okay so these are important ones so you know where we are and then after that it's this is zero zero forever but we don't need to write these so we never write these down because we don't need to know what's after that are all zeros forever so that's what you write, 0 0.0, 0 0.06. Okay, and I'm sure with lots of practice, they would be straightforward. Um, again, 8 meters should be straightforward. I think the hardest one is 600 centimeter cubed here, uh, squared here. And this one, again, 10,000, we just move, it's divided by 10,000. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4. So that becomes 1 meter squared, which actually did in the other shape anyway. Calculate the area of each shape, that's question 2. Uh, just change these into um, sh shapes. You can either split them up or do a hole and then take away, like sometimes we do it. Um, it should be fairly straightforward. So for this one, 4 times 9 will give you this shape here, which is that rectangle and the rectangle below. If you can see um, the, uh, this width, because it says 7, and that's 9, and this width here, this bit here is going to have to be 2. So that would be 2. Okay, shall I do this one as well? Let's do this quickly in case it's confusing. So we've got that shape for this one. We've got a shape. Um, so straight lines. Let's do straight lines. So we've got the shape. You got it here. And we've got here. And we've got a shape here. Here. Okay, I'm not going to label it all because you should have the book in front of you. So I'm not going to shape it all. Okay, so this is the shape. And we make it to two rectangles so this is the first one which is four times um, four times nine which will be straightforward okay and then this shape here what's that going to be because from here to here he's saying seven and this is to nine and this has to be two this has to be too wide again look at the picture to confirm that's case and same here because it says seven and that says four and this one has to be three so this is two times three so two times three this is six meters squared and this is nine times four is 36 meters squared and then add them together two shapes okay and then you've got the shape on the other side. Again, try that yourself. It should be a similar thing to what I've said should work. And if those don't work, it's not clear. You could always do the bigger shape, like 6 times 10, which is 60. And then work out the shape, smaller shape, what the area of that would be. So the smaller shape, the height is 4. Uh, the, the one we're going to remove is going to be 4. And the length of that is going to be 6 because you've got to remove the 2 and 2. So then you do 6 times 10, 60, and then take away... Uh, what did I say? 4 times um, 6, 24. So 6 to take away 24. And that should be your answer. And then question 3. I think we've done something similar to this before. Question 3. Work out a square has a side of 10 centimeters. The square divided into 5. The area of each rectangle. Okay, so if you divide into 5, then you should know the length. Um, yeah, it's 5. So each each width is going to be 2, right? And the, uh, because it's square, the height, the width, the length of it is still going to be 10. 
Uh, so it should be straightforward. And then level B, let's look at these. Um, we may or may not do this depending on what's going on. Um, as I say, sometimes they will be more difficult. Large rectangle width of six cent six meters, like I've shown you there, divided into three smaller rectangles, all of the same size. So there's your clue, all of the same size. So if they're all the same size, that six has become split into two parts for the two rectangles. That means the width of this two rectangle will have to be uh, okay. The area the width of the rectangle has to be three three meters. Okay. Um, again, double check that if you agree with that. Therefore, the, the, the length of the big rectangle is going to be, um, okay, so that's that much, and the length, okay, yeah, and those two of those make up the length of it, so that means that the whole thing there is going to have to be uh, 9 meters, okay, so see if you agree with that, I think that's going to be 9, so that's going to be 9 times 6. Uh, two identical rectangles have a length of seven centimeters, the width of three centimeters. One is laid over the other to make a paper shown. What is the area of this new shape? Okay, a new shape. So, see if you can work that out. So, you've got three, you've got seven there. That's one of your shapes. Then, the other shape you need to work out. So, you need to know how much has been overlapped so clearly three centimeters has been overlapped so the length of the other one is going to be what four four centimeters and then the width uh, along there is going to still have to be three so it's going to be three times four which is 12 so i'll do seven times three 21 and then plus the 12 that's what i think anyway any question three i'll leave you those for you to do those yourselves and if you get stuck then let me know by the say level b's are a little bit more trickier uh, but it doesn't look like there's any new concepts there, so it should be able to do that. Um, but if it's too hard, as I say, level B is a step ahead, so don't worry too much if that's the case. Uh, please do share and like and subscribe and place your comments below, which would be a great help in spreading the word as well, please. Thank you.